In the last video, we hardwired a backup camera dash cam, and it worked great. Until I came back from vacation to a dead battery. If you have a 12 volt outlet that is powered all the time, even when parked, like this Ford E350, you should move the hardwire to accessory power so the dash cam only turns on when the truck is running or the key is in the on position. Solution one, wire tap to accessory power at the fuse box. Using my test light and checking fuse box diagrams online, I find a fuse that isn't being used and lights up only in accessory position. Perfect. Time to install the fuse tap. And it doesn't fit. Learning the hard way. There are four kinds of fuses. Standard, mini, micro, and mini low profile. Hey, guess what? Mini isn't compatible with mini low profile. Seriously? Solution two, tap into accessory power near the existing hardwire. That's fine, I'll just tap into ACC power going to the radio. According to the wire harness diagram, I need the gray violet wire, but I don't see it. I checked the forums to research and accessory power might be controlled by the onboard computer ECU CAN. Really? Well, that's not going to work. Solution three, be a responsible adult and order a dash cam hardwire kit or buy another wiretap. I should put the dashboard back together and wait until I have the right parts, shouldn't I? Hmm. Nah. Before we get to the solution that finally worked, please take a second to hit that like button and also subscribe. Thanks. Solution four, use spare parts I already have at the house. Why wait for parts when I have a battery isolator I'm not using and I can fix the problem right now? This is a dash cam connected to constant power. It continues to run even when voltage is low until the battery is dead. This is a battery isolator. When voltage drops below a certain level, it turns off the power before the battery dies. Yes, I know a dash cam hardwire kit has a battery isolator built into it. And yes, I know I'm doing this wrong and probably voiding the warranty. But I don't want to sit around and wait for parts to show up in the mail or go back to the auto parts store and see if they have the correct wiretap in stock. Let's go! So I cut the positive wire on the outlet adapter that powers the dash cam. Strip both ends of the newly cut wire Crimp on connectors according to the battery isolator instructions. Secure the connectors to the posts on the isolator. Connect the isolator's ground wire to chassis or another ground wire. Start the truck and make sure it's working right. Secure it all with zip ties and put the dash back together. Done. Hey, good luck. Learning the hard way.